السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈ دس از آور تھرڈ ویڈیو آن دس انورٹر ویلڈنگ مشین ان آور لاسٹ سیشن وی ڈسکسڈ ان پٹ پاور سرکٹ دین دا ہائی کرنٹ سوئچنگ سرکٹ اینڈ دا آؤٹ پٹ ٹرانسفارمر اینڈ وی ڈیٹیکٹ دیٹ دس سرکٹ از ناٹ ریسیونگ ٹوینٹی فور وولٹ ایٹ دس پوائنٹ ریزن that this SMPS circuit low voltage power supply is not providing voltage. If we see this SMPS area, the SMPS transformer and MOSFET area is discolored. It is heat up. When anywhere there is a heat up, the surrounding contacts become dry joint, bad contacts. First of all, we have to remove the old solder and we will re-solder it again and then we will check its result ok now I removed this transformer just for demonstration to check the circuit If we see this point, it have one winding here, the second winding here, and then here is the second winding, this is the one diode. This is the one diode, and here we have this winding, and it is connected to these two diodes, two diodes in parallel for more current. So that means we have two sections in the output. First and the second. Now we can check where is the 24 volt section. So this is the negative line. So negative line is reaching here. We will check the sections one by one. So this is the negative line. And where is the positive line? Positive line is reaching here from under this track. That is from this point, I think. Now I will take uh, 24 volt DC. 24 volt. We will connect. This is one end of the transformer. So AC voltage here. So the cathode side must be positive, negative end here and the positive end, so positive end is reaching here and the negative end is here. So it should take 24 volts and this relay must turn on. I will connect the return line to any point, this is the negative side. Now we are applying 24 volt at this point and this point, 24 volt. When 24 volt are arrived, the relay must turn on. The relay must be on. So this contact will be bypassed. Now it is not bypassing the contact. I removed 24 volts. We will remove this relay contactor. Why it is not turning on? It must turn on uh, so that it can bypass. Set multimeter to ohms. 
0.2 ohms wow this coil is not giving the indication it must give some reading this coil is not giving some reading it is not bypassing sometime it makes problem when we turn on the welding machine power supply turns on immediately it will off why because this PTC will not provide the full current here it will not provide full current to the capacitor and IGBTs when because when it will start it will take too much current so all the time the machine will work on this PTC why because this winding is not turning on this contactor so this relay is off so that is the reason this supply damaged why because the input voltage always fluctuating machine have to turn on turn off turn on turn off so this component is bad we have to replace it we will renew the connections of output secondary side primary side we will renew the connections of this power MOSFET for this driver and SMPS card let me connect IGBT heatsink when we want to apply heatsink always remove the existing dry heatsink compound because it is very important for thermal conductivity always install the insulation paper and this insulation paper must be the safe it should not have any leakage or puncture Now, after renewing these connections, we will try and now we will check the voltage here. Check the voltage at this point. Oh, wonderful. We have 3.4 volt now on this terminal. Now we can check across these two diodes. We have 3.4 volt. That means the SMPS stage started working, but now it is not giving the full output. We, we can check this diode. The both sections are switching, but the problem, the voltage are not at rated value discharge it always discharge this capacitor for much more safety when the voltage are not at the full rate here is MOSFET 1 2 3 pins gate yes uh, I think First of all, we have to check the snubber diode. Set multimeter to diode mode. 0.193. Oh. We will remove this diode. This RCD snubber.
because when we have fluctuation in the voltage either the capacitor is making problem or the input voltage are fluctuating at that time this number circuit will go in resonant what is the direction this is the direction Oh, 0.196 yes this diode is short circuit this diode is unserviceable it is connected here between the drain pin and here here is this resistor capacitor so it is RCD snubber because this is positive line so here capacitor resistor and this point diode this RCD snubber it will not allow to build a full magnetic field MOSFET this point yes this is number diode R resistor capacitor and this is number diode we will remove it and we will use this number diode from here Point five one five, so it's good. So it is used in reverse polarity. So this one is positive resistor, resistor positive. First, I will connect here as a trial purpose. And then we will connect in the other side. Snubber, snubber diode is always connected in reverse polarity to the input voltage because it is it will become forward bias in reverse magnetic field. So let's try it now. Wonderful. This time the light is on that means excellent friends this light is turned on now we have output voltage that's nice and we have 25 volt here Now we have 25 volt here, just only this diode, it was damaged due to the problem in this relay. So now we can connect this number diode inside. In the transformer primary we have this MOSFET transistor switching here when it will switch it will 
cast to flow current here electronic current from negative to positive and here we have a capacitor a resistor in parallel a diode here in on time the current will flow now the negative here and this diode will become reverse bias but in off period when this magnetic field will close at that time it will provide positive voltage here negative this side so this diode will become forward bias and it will cause to store these voltage in this capacitor in off time when this off pulses arrive in the gate of the MOSFET so it will it will store these voltage here and it will discharge this this magnetic field in this resistor and this capacitor and when it will start switch again this time the winding is discharged when this is discharged at that time the current will flow again when it will flow again the negative will applied here because now the winding have no voltage magnetic field is zero at that time this diode is reverse bias and the current will flow here so this diode was bad it was not allowed to build the magnetic field here so the current had two paths the first path through this resistor second path through here so this was the reason when this diode becomes short circuit this also dissipates more power because it have to take a direct stress of the voltage when this diode is short circuit it will not allow to build a proper magnetic field so that reason we were taking a reduced voltage and this diode damage due to this relay because this relay was not allowing the full current now we will connect this time we can see the lamp is on the IGBTs are switching now we have 205 volt why 205 volt because this time the voltage are passing through this PTC this time the PTC is dropping 13 volt with low current there is no there is no load connected it is dropping 13 volt when there will a load when there will a load it will drop more voltage when it will drop more voltage the voltage at this DC capacitor will drop also this time we have this light on so that means the machine started working 47.9 volt because this time the machine is running with no load at this PTC when we will touch rod it will drop all the voltage or maximum voltage so machine is taking load it is not making a big spark why because the lamp is in series Friends, I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.